My name is Josh Foz, and I am the worship leader and media overseer of LifeGate Church. What brought me to love what I do as far as ministry and worship leading, it really was just uh, an encounter with God where I've always been a musician and I've always played in bands and done stuff like that, but it wasn't until I had an encounter with God and He showed me uh, how much more fulfilling it was to lead people into the presence of God rather than seeking my own glory, you know, uh, is that's really what it was. I said, God, this is so much more worth it than all of that. And yeah, it's just an encounter with God, as I think everything else should be. Is when you really encounter Him, He really does show you where you're meant to be. Worship is the outward expression of what you're feeling on the inside about something. Uh, we worship everything uh, in the sense of, you know, when somebody does something and you say, hey, good job, like you're telling them what they're worth. They're worth your compliment. They're worth your time and uh, consideration. Uh, so when it comes to uh, singing to the Lord or giving your tithes or um, just even telling God that you love Him and spending time with Him, that is worship, um, where He is worth you giving something up to him. It's helped me in the sense of, uh, in, in, in many ways, um, practically, um, I've had to play a keyboard a lot more often than I'm used to. Um, so that definitely pushed me uh, into uh, becoming more comfortable with playing keyboard. I'm mainly a guitar player, but that definitely helped me uh, in, in that sense. Um, it's helped me as a worship leader, um, you know, to really spend more time with God uh, to see what He wants to do on Sunday mornings um, rather than, you know, uh, just kind of picking songs and wanting to do Christian karaoke on Sundays. You know, it's, it's a matter of, you know, when you get to know Him and, and what He wants to sing and what He wants to talk about on Sunday, because again, it's it's, it's me or and my worship team bringing them into the presence of God. And we have to know where he's going because we're leading. So therefore we follow him, they follow us in that way. Uh, another way it's helped out is um, uh, the fact that I'm, uh, I guess, in charge rather than um, being under someone. When, it, when, you're being under, when you're under somebody, like another worship leader, you're, you're waiting for their direction, you know, and stuff. And for me, it's more like, okay, I got to, set this up, I gotta fix the sound, I gotta do whatever, you know? And But what's great is that it's also helped me um, as a leader to um, um, how to handle and speak with other people because it's not just me, it's my worship team, it's my media guys, it's my sound guys, everything. So that's definitely helped me a lot. Aside from, you know, ministry and 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 having our services and everything like that um the the building that we're that we're building and in the future we're going to be in if you're seeing this late next year we're already in the building but uh we're building a kingdom center where um it's not just going to be your regular church building where we come and have services uh, we want to have um, all kinds of people from all kinds of walks of life and as far as careers to come in and uh you know we can help train people uh, in whatever it is, if somebody wants to be in financing, we have somebody who teaches financing. If we have somebody who wants to uh, learn sound, we can have, you know, our sound guy you know, teach stuff, to, put stuff about sound. Uh, Pastor always talks about a doctor wanting to come in and doing uh, free physicals and exams in our church, you know, and it's really uh, whatever it is that the community is needing um, in, 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 the, in the practical sense rather than just the spiritual sense. pretty simple. Uh, I'm a musician, so always playing music and jamming out is always fun. Uh, I enjoy movies, for sure. And I enjoy uh, spending time with my dog and other dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> 
And I like to shop. Yeah, I forgot about that. I like to shop. That's fun. And shop for guitars, yeah. Yeah, buying lots and lots of guitars. It's kind of a sickness, actually. Lord help me. <laughs> First Friday nights, I like to call them First Friday Night Encounters. Um, it's nights where we come and just do worship and also do ministry. And we just come and encounter God uh, in all kinds of ways. Um, worship, we just kind of hang loose and just go for it and just um, give it everything we got. Um, Pastor Mickey, Pastor Sandy, uh, they always have some kind of trick up their sleeve when it comes to just wanting to minister to people, you know, because they're just letting the Holy Spirit lead and they're like, oh, the Holy Spirit's saying this and they go off and do that. And it's just really one of those times where we we let the Holy Spirit do what he wants to do uh, in those times. There's times where we've gone pretty much the entire time just do worship. And there's been times where we um, were doing worship and we'd pause and then we'd have ministry time and then worship and then pray for people to get healed and they get healed and go back and worship. So it's just a really, really good time in the presence of God. If you want to have an encounter with God, that's definitely the time to do it.